Day marks the one month of construction on the Route WW bridge just east of the Columbia City limits. In a month of headaches for detour drivers, especially with high gas prices, they're counting down the days until the work is done. KOMU 8's Emily Spain reports on the progress and the pain of construction. The sound of construction Baby. isn't really music to Nancy Russell's ears. One day when I had the windows open, I just got my iPod and because I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> her driveway right next to the work. Her morning wake up call, 615. It's kind of comforting though because I'm so ready to have this bridge opened up that every morning when I hear that I think yes, thank you for being on the job because I want it done. Bodot says work on the WW bridge is right on schedule. The progress on this project has gone really well considering all the weather. We've had rain, we've had snow. But they are getting ready to pour the bridge deck on Friday. After that, only a couple weeks left. In the meantime, drivers like Russell stick to the detours. So I decided to find out what exactly is the fastest route by checking mileage and timing for three different routes. MoDOT's detour took the longest. Using only state routes down I-70 and Route J, it took 22 miles. Using St. Charles and Olivet took 8 miles. And the shortest trip, Rolling Hills to New Haven at 7 miles. For detour drivers, relief is on its way. April 15th is a good date to sit on right now. We should be, be fine in hitting that. Relief for people's pocketbooks and Russell's ears. There goes that noise again. Yep, there it is. Beep! I think it just is in my brain. I'll probably hear it for another month after they're done. Emily Spain, KOMU 8 News, Columbia. One more note, the fastest detour is getting riddled. Rolling Hills Road is having problems with potholes because it wasn't built for so much traffic.